Okay guys, so in today's video, we are here to check out a very special car. This one is named after a very special person. And of course, I am talking about the McLaren Senna. So there are only 500 of these ever made. And this one is right here in the flesh in Malaysia. This video is brought to you by Ewo Club Car Wash. Our motto is service and solutions. You can bring your car to us for deep cleaning, shining, full-on restoration, or just a regular wash. Whatever it is you need help sorting out on your car, we are more than happy to assist. To get in touch with us, drop us a line on Facebook, Instagram, or WhatsApp us on the number on your screen now. Okay, now if you are watching this video, I'm gonna guess you know who Eton Senna is, but if you don't, this is how you spell his name, Google it. Now, Eton Senna is, of course, the greatest Formula One driver of all time. And although he had raced for four different teams in his career, he does have a strong affiliation with McLaren. He has won three driver championship titles with them and he is also still to date the driver who has won the most number of races in McLaren's F1 history. So quite appropriately considering the person which this car is named for. The McLaren Senna is actually a road legal track car but make no mistake this is a track car in its purpose. Everything you see on it that I'm gonna bring you around to check out is there for the sole purpose of ensuring you get the fastest possible lap times, which means that none of this stuff that you see going on here, none of these aerodynamics, none of them are here just for the sake of being here. Everything fitted to this car is for one reason and one reason alone, which is to make it go faster. You see, even right at the exhaust, for example, you see it's mounted here at the top of the rear deck and the angle is deliberately set so that when the exhaust gas flows out, it does not catch out the air car's aerodynamics for one and it is also deliberately set in a way to maximize the cooling of the engine and if you look at the the tips themselves right the material used to make these tips it's made from titanium and well it's some other fancy material that McLaren calls Inconel it sounds chunky but I would say it does look and feel mahal to the touch so that's one Okay, you see, even this plastic surround here has this nice matte quality to it. Is this plastic? It feels like it's metal, actually. Yeah, it's metal. So, all this, okay, it's even right here at the exhaust, where the exhaust gas comes out, the car already shows that it feels expensive. Look up there. Look up there. Look at this snorkel. See? This here, this is where air flows in here and goes in to the air intake of the engine. So now in terms of product positioning, the Senna is grouped into what McLaren calls its ultimate series line of the product portfolio. So to give you a bit of a rundown, right, since 2015, McLaren cars are organized into three distinct product lines. We of course have the entry level sports series which is where we had the 570s and more recently the car we know from bobby tana and thomas's epic 24-hour adventure around peninsula malaysia none other than the mclaren artura in the middle we have the super series which started off with the 12c and then they replaced it with the 650s and now 
the 720S. And right at the top, where the Senna belongs, is of course the Ultimate Series, which is where the legendary McLaren F1, we all remember that car once upon a time, the world's fastest car, the McLaren F1, McLaren now retroactively classifies that car in the Ultimate Series and that is where they also put the more recently the McLaren P1. So now mechanically the Senna is based on the 720S. It uses the same carbon fiber monocoque as its structural starting point. It also uses the same 4-litre twin-turbo V8 as the 720S but the outputs have been increased from 720 all the way to 800 horsepower and 800 newton meters of torque. And just to be clear, the Senna is not a hybrid. So all of these 800 bloody horses, they are generated entirely from the hard work of its petrol engine. So there's no electric motor to give you that extra kick or to inflate the outputs to four figures. But the advantage is that it has made the car less complex. It has kept weight down. Believe it or not, the Senna weighs in at 1,198 kilograms, which is lighter than a Proton Persona. Just to reinforce how serious McLaren was when it came to weight savings in the development of this car, they went as far as creating a special color. Now, it's not featured in this car, I'm just telling you as an additional info. There is a special color available with the Senna that requires the factory to spray on the minimum volume of liquid possible. That is how serious they took the approach of weight savings here in the Senna, right down to the bloody color. Now, uh, other measures include lithium iron 12 volt battery as standard. This rear fender panel, uh, this rear fender panel, this thing is one millimeter thick. This whole piece weighs less than three kilos. And you come down here, the tail lights, the tail light assembly, each tail light weighs only one kilogram. So now onto the chassis. The Senna suspension is based on the hydraulic system that is found in the McLaren P1 but with more advanced electronic control. McLaren calls it race active chassis control too. And here's something magical about it. If you set the suspension to race mode, what happens is that firstly it drops the car's ride height significantly so it makes the car more stable on the track. But that's not all because even in race mode, at low speeds, the dampers stay soft, relatively soft. Lah, okay? The purpose is actually not so much for comfort, but rather for mechanical grip because you don't want the suspension to be too stiff all right, and get the car bouncing around. You want to ensure that, let's say like when the surface is not even, all of the tires remain in contact with the ground at all times. It is only as the car goes faster, and I'm talking about much, much faster, the suspension stiffens. And that it's not just, and it's not, once again, it's not just about allowing you to corner with less body roll, it's more than that. Because you see, this spoiler here and all the aerodynamics, whatnot you see on this car, it helps the Senna generate up to 800 kilograms of downforce. Imagine it's like at high speeds, right? There's a whole kanchil sitting on this car, pressing it down. So now with all that force, if the suspension stays too soft, what happens is that the springs compresses to the point where it bottoms out and the result, uh, it's like you have no suspension like that. So there is this very elegant, very clever method you know, and thinking behind the engineering of the suspension. Okay, so you check out the brakes, ah. Okay, so the Senna comes standard with carbon ceramic brakes all around, and even, even in the world of carbon ceramics, these are considered 
high grade stuff because each disc takes seven months to make. That's right, guys. Seven fucking months for one disc break. Okay, and if you come here and you look closely at the front caliper, okay, it is it is a six ventilated piston setup. Okay, you look at here, right? it's a six ventilated piston setup made for the purpose of better cooling of the brakes so you dissipate heat better. Although even though carbon ceramic brakes are naturally very good at heat dissipation, they take it a step even further by ensuring that the six pistons of the front here get even better ventilation. And the tires of the Senna, they are bespoke tires. These tires are made specially, exclusively for the Senna by Pirelli. They call it the Trofeo, the P0 Trofeo R. These tires are made exclusively for the Senna. Now, for a car with this much focus on track speed, you'd be surprised at how much of a highlight these doors are from both an engineering and a visual sense. Firstly, it's that you can see through most of it. So from the inside, right, you can look up, upwards above your head, or you can see past your thighs through the lower section of the doors. And it's Gorilla Glass, okay? So it's light, it's tough, it's see-through. So all of the perp qualities that you need for a proper show off and it is a case really of form and function now the other thing is that because the car's structure what mclaren calls the mono cage tree is so strong that the whole weight of the doors can rest on top here okay here at three points okay and yet they are able to do it whilst keeping these pillars all relatively slim. And the purpose is that, the main purpose that McLaren quotes is that it enables the driver to get maximum vision out of the car when attacking the tracks. So now that we've opened the doors, you can see this is a raised focus interior. Now, if you are looking for practicality, la, storage space, la, all these, please look elsewhere, okay? McLaren has left space for you to keep a couple of helmets and race suits, but that's it. You don't pack a suitcase in here, okay, in this car. You ain't got space for that. And you don't even have space for cup holders. Just to show you further how serious McLaren is keeping this race-focused business in the cabin everything you see here look at all these things you see here right everything you see here, all these fitments are the plastics are the whatnot are okay and this car here also comes with an the optional six point race harness so it's really ready for track attack everything you see inside here weighs less than 60 kilograms okay means that i I am heavier than everything inside this cabin put together. Okay guys, so let's show you some of the interior functions of the Senna. Engine start stop button is here, right up. So every time when you start this car, there's already that special sense of location where you have to physically reach up to fire up the engine. Over here, this activates race mode, okay, which as I explained earlier, it lowers the car's suspension ride height. Okay, and here, this is the, uh, the driving mode selection. So you have ESC off, you have manual. Climate control and infotainment systems is, is put in the screen. This is the panel where you activate the, where you control the transmission modes. Here is launch control, engine auto start stop, and that's it. All very, very simple, no nonsense. Okay, a rubberized pad here. So you see here, everything is rubberized so that when you put things here, they don't slide about. Okay, and I believe this is prob probably a wireless charging pad and here you have this 12 volt socket. So all in, all, no nonsense, very quality, very solid materials and it's really, really made properly track focused. And here you can see this function here, okay, allows you to retract 
the instrument cluster to show just the essential info where if you want to get better better visibility ahead or you can raise it for a full display for a full color display here these are the warning light clusters here either side also you have the pedal shifters the steering wheel itself is empty okay but you still have this alcantara finish here all right to give it still that sense of of sporting sporting premiumness and luxury here okay so for a car like the senna as the saying goes la if you have to ask how much it actually means you can't afford it but here's some interesting facts mclaren sold the senna brand new at 750,000 British pounds. The very last unit that rolled out from the factory fetched, get this up, 1.9 million British pounds at an auction. That's a threefold increase in price. Okay, but granted that is a charity auction. So people may be a bit more willing to spend more. But that being said, the latest listings from Auto Trader UK still show units of the Senna to be maintaining steadily at the car's original price. And mind you, this is against the backdrop of a slow global economy. Now, the fact that McLaren built the Senna in limited numbers and it refrained from making the Senna a hybrid and plus named it after a legend means that this car has great value appreciating potential and it is definitely well worth considering for you to add to your collection of supercars and exotic cars so this unit that you see featured here in today's video it is for sale here at Safa Motors in Chan Saolin, Sungai Bersi here in the flesh in Malaysia ready to be loaded onto a trailer delivered straight to your doorstep or to your Langkawi storage house whichever you prefer all of the relevant location and contact details I've put it in the description section below if you are interested to come and check this car out so that's it from me today on the McLaren Senna if you like this video please give me a thumbs up share with me your thoughts in the comment section and if you have a request for a future video do let me know in the comment section as well and of course please subscribe to my channel if you have not already done so because your support of my work here keeps me going so that i can continue to produce new content for you guys as frequently as possible and do also check out the youtube channels of all my fellow horizon presenters as well all those guys you see in our opening intro video follow all of the horizons social media channels if you need car buying advice remember that bobby tana thomas and myself are live every monday on facebook and youtube on our weekly car buying q a to answer your car buying questions live and finally of course if you guys need your cars clean and detailed you can always come to us at Ewo Club Car Wash contact us on our social media channels or our number as shown on the screen now to know about our latest offers or how we can help you to care for your car okay so guys until my next video take care stay safe and I will see you soon